Merry Christmas, and thanks for joining us for today's reading from the Our Daily Bread devotional. Amy Boucher Pye wrote today's encouragement, and she titled it, The Prince of Peace. When John's cold turned into pneumonia, he ended up in the hospital. At the same time, his mother was being treated for cancer a few floors above him, and he felt overwhelmed with worries about her and about his own health. Then, on Christmas Eve, when the radio played the carol, O Holy Night, John was flooded with a deep sense of God's peace. He listened to the words about it being the night of the dear Savior's birth. A thrill of hope the weary soul rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. In that moment, his worries about himself and his mother vanished. This dear Savior born to us, Jesus, is the Prince of Peace, as Isaiah prophesied. Jesus fulfilled this prophecy when He came to earth as a baby, bringing light and salvation to, as Matthew chapter 4 puts it, those living in the land of the shadow of death. He embodies and gives peace to those He loves, even when they face hardship and death. There in the hospital, John experienced the peace that passes all understanding as he pondered the birth of Jesus. This encounter with God strengthened his faith and sense of gratitude as he lay in that sterile room away from his family at Christmas. May we too receive God's gift of peace and hope. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 1 through 7. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee of the nations by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light, On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end, He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Let's pray. God of peace, when we're anxious and worried about many things, help us to turn to you and to receive your gift of peace. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Rochelle Traub, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.